everybody this is Nia Filer, Rod Filer and I'm here with the weekly astrological message this is where I talk about the celestial soup we're all swimming in all zodiac signs and how we are affected by it I try to keep it as concise as possible if there's one thing I don't like is hearing somebody talk for an hour and it doesn't matter in which field it is <coughs> if you keep it con concise I think you're doing me a favor in this day and age and that's how I try and keep it for you, my viewers. So, basically, what is this week about? Well, we're heading into a full moon in Leo, conjunct Aegea, um, opposing Jupiter, squaring Uranus and Mars, or in other words, in English, it's an energetical dynamite. This is a week that on the uh, not-so-high and positive side could cause turbulations and and instability this is a, the perfect time for uh, mishaps and crises or even tragedies in the aeronautical cyber <coughs> um, health care god forbid um, atomic god forbid or um, space industries this is a, a sensitive time for tragedies also for um, earthquakes but on the more positive side this is a great time for breakthroughs this is a time that we could make great strides forward into the future that we could self emancipate and liberate from many of the shackles that we've been held back with and I'm saying this both literally and metaphorically both in the personal spiritual sense and in the broader sense in society, in the political, technological, social uh, realms. <clears throat> Certainly this is a time that we are intolerant and that intolerance could cause us to lash out. So we need to enhance our calm, as the poet says, and truthfully step away from too much drama and totality in our lives because we're heading into this full moon in Leo conjunct Hygieia, the goddess of hygiene and health that definitely puts that, those matters on top of the table Leo is all about life it's all about taking a part on this stage of the world because we believe in life and we believe in love and we want to do something from the bottom of our heart we don't want a five to nine job we want something that is actually a destiny for us we want to play this game we want to squeeze the zest out of life and we want to realize ourselves to uh, materialize something a gift brought from us to um, this world to actually eternalize our footprint in it to in a way cheat death to live here something that would stay here after we go that's why it's connected to creativity that's why it's connected to children which are our greatest creations so to cheat death and in a way living my footprint to eternity providing my own private signature come Georgia and um, and in that way, providing something personal to this creation, bringing my own gift, my own personal gift to the table and taking up leadership roles, as I said, to um, fulfill my destiny in a sense. So in this full moon in Leo, this is something we all feel. We all want to fulfill ourselves and realize ourselves better we want to squeeze the zest out of life better and of course when it comes to more hygiene and health connected to that this is definitely a time that we are on a precipice in some places in the world we can feel how life is winning over death and this tragedy called corona with all its uh, the good changes it made in society as well is life is beating death and we are actually triumphant over this plague in other places in this world this could be a time that the costs are felt 
the highest that they did yet in this play that the losses of life and tragedy peaks God forbid or God is forbid or God's forbid <laughs> or men forbid or women forbid <laughs> But really, this is a time that these issues are on the table. I want to remind us that this is opposing Jupiter, making everything vaster and larger and providing a, a philosophical backdrop. What does it say about the truth of this life? What is the philosophy that we can adapt to life behind it? How does this broaden our understanding of what life is? And then we have the square to Mars and Uranus, all happening at the same time, Tuesday and Thursday, 28th in the sky. Bringing this into an energetic dynamite, as I said. And on top of it, at the same time, we have the conjunction between the planet of love and self-esteem and money and value, Venus, and Pluto, the transformator. Pluto, the dance of life and rebirth, darkness and light, who symbolizes Scorpio. That's why I said stepping away from totality and drama with yourself, with money, with value, with love, could be a good thing through this week. Nevertheless, it is an amazing time to be intimate with somebody, to be sexual, and just take good care of yourselves because this is a sensitive time in the health realm because of this conjunction you know it's on the same degree uh, almost it's like a minute away you know it's on IGEA so health issues are on the table better watch ourselves but do heal do enjoy yourselves take this energy and do something with it <laughs> okay let's let's see what's happening in the sky so Sunday the 24th a bit heavy then Monday the 25th, good time to sign deals, good time for communications. Mercury trines the moon before the retrograde, that's a good thing. Then Tuesday the 26th, Neptune squares the nodes again as it does for the last um, many months. And this is again the time for the triumph of false news, fake news, not knowing who to believe, so much question marked that we remain powerless and lethargical and passive well don't you know and really be careful with the information you take in and you put out um, Sun square Uranus on Tuesday the 26th as well be flexible not intolerant and um, do try new things put the new in your life in a way that challenges you but in a good way in a positive way um, it's, a f it's a day full of energy and then Wednesday the 27th even more so moon opposes Venus and Pluto it's already a good time to step away from your emotions into the logic the safety of logic <laughs> on that day and then 28 peak energy we have this full moon I've been talking about, the conjunction between Venus and Pluto. And then Friday the 29th, uh, Mercury retrograde and the sign of Aquarius. Really taking in and letting it settle down. All this new information that we've been through. All this new social awareness. All this new uh, um, ways to interact socially. The changes that we had to make in our societies, in our communities, with our friends. You know, all of this, just taking it in, you know, just processing it. And then Saturday the 30th, again, a good day to be flexible and watch out with your communication um, with others, with the way we, you interact with others. And then Sunday the 31st, very energetic day, or at least it starts with a lot of energies, but it ends with a movie on the sofa <laughs> or, or really on a much quieter tone so I just want to remind everybody that now everything is still 30% off COVID special 30% uh, off and um, so if you want courses with me or readings feel free to contact me all the details are at the end in the slide I want to thank you for sharing these and commenting on them and may we all live long
and prosper. Bye-bye.